just an FYI, this software is still in beta, but I hope to have a first release soon. Uh, anyways, this is still a work in progress. I have a public beta in the description. I have the GitHub uh, link. This is called Freak Enforcer, and it's a pitch corrector much like Melodyne and some other pitch correction softwares, but it is more tailored to Squad Remixers as well as YTVMVs and maybe Automads as well. But uh, for the most part, it, it, it's it works really nice. It, it works very well on uh, smooth samples as well as rough samples. I've I ran it through a snare and it sounded okay it sounded like a fart actually but uh, it, it, it works pretty well this is an example with leafy saying yeah. and i just imported it with default settings yeah yeah you can stretch it however much you want on the slider it goes up to five times max because i, I don't even know why you would go above two yeah. times um yeah. you can manually change it with the uh, integer uh, right yeah. below the slider there are four different methods for stretching i would probably recommend um wsla speech and phase vocoder uh, but rubber band works as well yeah you can also edit the format that it's in. You can do this in Melodyne as well, but not in stuff like T-Pain or some other autotune softwares. I just included it because I think it's important. Cleanliness is probably the most unique feature and probably the only feature that you'll ever find on something like this. What it does is it detects the harmonics on a sample and it filters out any mud, any any sub bass or anything that's not in the harmonics of what your sample is. It's a bit hard to explain so I have a side by side of a spectrogram of a Melodyne sample versus my software sample and as you can see all of that nasty stuff is just out, out of the picture, gone. I would not recommend going up to 100% because that kind of amplifies it too much and you end up kind of having more of a robotic vocoded kind of sample. I think my favorite part about this program is that uh, after you render it, it puts in the metadata for the root note. So just watch, um, see how it's at C, the blue note, um, but then as I bring it in, boom, it, it's adjusted. It, it does it automatically for you. That's freaking, I think that's freaking cool. And just to show you, this is what it sounds like with Melodyne. It's not too bad, but I think mine is clearly more superior here. <laughs> This also works really well on more rough samples. I have a sample I picked from Flower from BFB1, and it's kind of rough. It's kind of patchy. You can kind of tell. I think my software is pretty elite for cases like this, and I can just show you right here. Drunk, 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 drunk. It may not be the best sounding sample, and I can get that, but for how terrible the original sample was, you can't get the same thing in something like Newtone or Melodyne. D don't even try it, honestly. <laughs> Currently, the software is still kind of slow. It'll run faster after the first time you load a sample in it, but I'm doing my best to kind of fix that up and to tr make it more efficient and to make it, let's just make it run well, I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, um, link is, link is in the description. Go ahead, have fun. Yeah.